So, I've not seen a tutorial for uh, the Daphne Singe emulator in English. If you don't know what this emulator is, this emulator runs games released by the company American Laser Games. Rest in peace. They no longer exist. They made games in the early to mid 90s. They were these live action light gun games. Mad Dog McCree, Mad Dog McCree 2, The Lost Gold, The Last Bounty Hunter, Who Shot Johnny Rock, and plenty of other ones you are probably all familiar with. The most popular ones, or ones they could at least find releases of, have been reworked to run in this emulator. However, there is some little bit of an issue when setting the simulator up. So what I'm going to do is clear the air and show you how to get an image or get the games working. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have your installers on hand and if you don't have them, well, this is where you can sort of go to get them. I will probably put the link in the description, but it's thankfully been archived so when you go to this archive link if it had just load there for a second yeah there it goes and then you go to the downloads or wait a minute is it under downloads it's either under downloads or games one of the two I can't remember exactly which okay yeah it's under downloads you have all your game installer so when you click on it you'll download it just like you would any other file then from there you're going to want to go to whichever one here you want to install. We're going to go ahead and do Crime Patrol True Drug Wars. I can't quite get this one working, the original Crime Patrol for some reason. So click on the installer after you've downloaded it. And this is just telling you about the license and yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't worry about that. Just click OK. OK. Now, first things you need to do is you'll need to um, make sure you select your path to your disk. Now, if you have the actual physical disk, you can put it in your PC drive and do that. If you have it digitally, though, you ripped the ISO or got it off the internet like I did, well, you can just go down here and double click it. And you'll mount it like that. And that will just go away. Now, from there, you're going to go here and go to the path to wherever your disk drive is. And I know it says it's a little different, but trust me, it'll still line up perfectly. It just selects that. Then you want to select your path to your main Daphne folder for me, or Daphne Singe. For me, that's under E, Emulators, and Daphne Singe. Click OK. And then click Begin to do the install. And then eventually this will show up and it will just start taking all the files from the disk and putting them into Singe form to emulate it like the original arcade version. This is going to actually take a little while so I'm going to cut it off here and I will be back. I told you I'd be back. Alright so I'm back. It's finally done. So you think you're all ready to go. It says done. Double click on the bat file to play. So you can close out of that, close out of the installer, delete it if you want because you won't need it anymore. But here's the problem. When you try and run it, and by the way, you won't need this full screen bat and uh, you'll see why in a minute. But when you try and run the default bat, it throws up an error. For some reason, the installer provided does not build the right file correctly. So you have to go in there, hit right click on the bat file and edit. And this is basically what it is. It'll open up notepad. And this is what I got from an old warm post, but no one has put this information into video form. So I'm going to do this here and show you what you need to do. So in order to get the bat file here, you'll need to go and edit this. So basically, the idea here, I will lay this, is to remove this X800, Y600, take that out, and you need to add script to the beginning of the singe path, right here after the text folder. So hyphen, script, and then that does that, and then at the end of the file itself, you need to put hyphen, no server send, hyphen full screen 
you can put underscore in window if you want to run it in a window, but it's not really necessary here. And you got to make sure there are no extra spaces are aligned in the script. So to recap, we've removed x800, y600, added script to the beginning of the singe path, and added the text no server send full screen to the end of the script. Make sure you save it, control S, in my case, and then close it. Then, from there, you should be able to run it just fine. Now, when you start it up first, it'll ask you to parse your video files. Now, I must give you a little bit of a warning that the screen will flash green quite a bit in the process of this. So, if you are epileptic, I will put a uh, time code description down below to skip to. Uh, please skip it if you do click that time blip in the description to uh, skip ahead to where the game is actually working. If you're not though, well I'm going to give a little countdown warning. Alright, so we're going to do this in 10, 9, alright, so hold on, alright. We're going to have the screen flash in green after I push any key here, and it does mean any key, so you could just fall on this thing and it'll work. Oh, but don't. Alright, so seizure warning here for the green flashing, going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! So you can see it'll parse through, and it will take a while for it to uh, properly work. But eventually, it may seem like it's not working, but I assure you, it does. If it doesn't work the first time, just run it again the second time. And you must run the specific Singe version of Daphne. You cannot run the default version used to play Dragon's Lair and Space Ace and all that jazz. Still going. Uh, there it goes. So yeah, it'll take you in. And you are basically good to go. American Laser Games. And there you go, it works. Hey, tough guy! Are you looking for me? Yes, I am. Oh, come a little closer. I am Lopez. Lopez, the narcotics king. So yes, it does work. You press 5 basically to coin up, and by the way, you only have to go through that parsing once, so I'll, I'll just boot up Last Bounty Hunter to show you that after you only have to deal with that parsing once afterwards, and then it boots up like normal. You'll coin up with 1, hit 1 to start, and then the game itself will basically run like a gem. You're the Bounty Hunter, right? Well, come on! Use that gun! Let's see if I can get this shot. God, I love these games so much. And the process is basically the same for every single game. I need to reload. But... Oh shit, how do I... Oh, I can't reload until after the gun. Well, that's a shame. So there's your top high scores. Ah, but I can't do it alone. So that's basically how it works in a nutshell. And um, thank you for watching. And I hope this is very helpful because these games, they're kind of cheesy B movie ish in their own charm. But I kind of get a kick out of them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've still got about a couple more to install here. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.